whereby we must be saved. That's that narrow way. If the righteous scarcely be saved. Huh? If the righteous living holy, living clean, baptized in Jesus' name, feel the Holy Ghost, fighting every day, the good fight of faith, you barely get in. That's the book. If the right, or some people have got deep that don't mean it, it's just what he said. That's right. If the righteous scarcely be saved, it's just what he said. Where is that? The sinner and the ungodly up here. They ain't got a chance. Huh? Not going into God's kingdom. And now is the way which leads to life, and few there be that find it. What few is that? That few that will repent and turn from sin. That few that's willing to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ to get rid of sin. And that few that will allow God to fill them with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It could be a billion, two billion, ten billion, that's a few. Compared to all the people that have graced this planet, that's a few. Huh? But there's so many people, you can't number, that have Leo and died and are here now. I'm not talking about the living population. You look at all those in the grave worldwide. Huh? Let's say a trillion people since the world been in existence. That's a few. To God. God's so big, that's a few. They're saying, even the stars in the sky, God numbered the stars and named them. They all got names. Look at I me, mean, there's so many, man, a telescope, the one they can see in this galaxy. Not in any one of these satellites that are set out in the other galaxy. So many stars, our computers can't count them. But I, said, I know which one is one. That's right. That's right. I know the first one I put there. There he is. And the one trillion one, though, there he is. God know. The hell in your head is number to God. The saying by the sea is number to God. And that's a few. That's what makes him God. People don't understand it's God we serve. When God says he's I'm not present, he's in every place. When Saul says he's in every place, he did just that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Read verse 15. Beware of false prophets. See what? See, now you got to be well now. You have to be well. Be warned of false prophets. How they come? Which come to you in sheep's clothing. I told you, come look at religious. The world is full of religious looking people. Huh? The world is full of righteous looking folk. Full of them. Just loaded up with them. But the Bible says, beware of false prophet. See, because then the Bible says, really, you got to really be watching at the way he's coming. He's coming in sheep clothes. <laughs> Covered with a suit and towel and a Bible in his hand. You got to be well of it. He's not coming looking like a false prophet. He's not coming talking like one. He's going to come acting real. Be well. That's why the Holy Ghost, the way he comes in place. When he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you. You. You into all truth. You don't need a preacher walking with you every day, your brothers and sisters. You got a guy in you. You got power in you that's able to discern. You got power in you able to speak. You got power in you able to warn you without saying a word that others can hear. Can sound a warning and you say, mm -hmm, I hear you. And go your way. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. So to be well, false prophet to come in sheep clothing. Okay, now he's coming in sheep clothing. So you say, well, I can recognize you. That's why I, when they come up in here and they don't come back, because I unload and let them know I know you. I know you're a false prophet. And then when I get through preaching, they say he knows that I'm a false prophet. <laughs> and they don't come back. That's my job. Recognize the wolf. That's what the Bible told me to do. Uh, watch the sheep. Feed the sheep. Uh, 
God made me an overseer. That's my job. My job is to let the false prophet know through preaching, I know you're here. And I know who you are. And then they agree and shake my hand, but I know they ain't coming back. And they know they're not coming back. Because they know I'm exposed. The false prophet come in amongst you trying to hide. That's why you got to have a Holy Ghost preacher to recognize. Hallelujah. Recognize it, Joseph. Huh? Oh, yeah. Recognize it. I know you. I know who you are. Mm. Come and sheep clothes. Let the clothes go to hide. Huh? The clothes go to hide. If I look like them, they won't know. But how many know you can smell sin a mile away? That's right. Huh? That's right. You see it, you smell it. You can't, you can't cover that stuff. You just can't cover it up. Because the Bible says you're the light of the world. Sanctified folk are the light of them. Huh? Some have got the garb on, but they cover the darkness. And you can see darkness. I'm teaching good stuff now, y'all. Right. Beware of false prophets that come to you in sheep clothing. But what? Inwardly. Inside. They are ready to rules. Looking right. Acting right. Talking right. Huh? Mm -hmm. But on the inside. Raven wolves. No Holy Ghost. Wolf spirit. Raging. Seeking. Searching. Look at the last month or two. All these preachers we had to come in. On the cock meeting. I know everyone will preach when they said that. They're not here to hear the word. But here's what, here's what messed them up. Their intent was to come in. I've been preaching 30 years and scout the church and find weak people. And then they're they can, they can they can deserve a weak person in the church. And then that's why they make the attempt to get outside. And you know they're always trying to pull certain ones aside. Well, see, I got sick dogs in here. They go outside, they go out there too. You get off in the corner, they go, why are you, why are you over in the corner? See, that forever fix it up. Huh? But they come looking for weak people to pull weak people out to follow them. Inside, raving and wolves. But they don't know God sent them in to hear a word. So when they stand before him in judgment, they have no excuse. So they came for one reason. But God says, since you're there, let me give you something else. Let me give you something you didn't want. That is, you're going to face me having heard the truth. Oh, yo, you can't outwit God. You can, can't nobody outwit him. God, too smart, thank you. Hmm? Wood. Verse 16, what does it say? Read. You shall know them by their fruit. Look, ye, and you shall know them. You don't have to be a preacher, y'all. You don't have to be a preacher to, to, to recognize a false prophet. Brothers or sisters, you ain't got to be no preacher. Why people try to put preaching with everything? You ain't got to be a preacher nor a false prophet. Because right. he, he trying to get you? Mm -hmm. No. And everything now, a uh, sister can't even discern what's right and wrong now. For my oh, child, y'all are calling. Oh, yeah. You ain't got jack. That's right. That's right. Try to put preaching on. A woman can be just as sad, so y'all can't quote a scripture. That's why I'm trying to put you in the pool. Yeah, that's right. That's right. These women do good stuff. Why well, titles got to be with them? Right. Uh -huh. Knowing a false prophet from somebody that ain't real and they can't fool you, what the hell? Everybody, you, look, what? That's right. He shall know them. Everybody got to be up on that one. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Sister so Quotes, Jesus will. Read <laughs> <laughs> Two or short description about Jesus. What would you say? <laughs> this is fucking crazy. False prop pushing, planting seeds. They are doing all that fools. Ye shall know them. Me. By their fruits. The fruit. You're going to know them by their life. 